I'm going to show you how to do the long tail cast on worked over two needles held together, which makes a nice, stretchy, and loose cast on. We're also going to work this without making a slip knot. So we're going to pull off a long tail of yarn, about an inch for each stitch that we're going to make. So I'm going to pull off about 12 inches now. And we're going to leave the other end of the yarn attached to the ball. We're simply going to drape the yarn over the top of our two needles held together and cross the strands on the bottom. That's going to become our first stitch later. Notice that I'm grabbing the two tails of the yarn with my pinky and my ring finger, and then I put my thumb and index finger between the strands of yarn and pull them open in a V shape with those other strands crossing underneath the needles. And then I pull it down in this fashion so it kind of looks like a boomerang or something. And now I'm going to take my two needles together and put them into the loop on my thumb and then around the top of the loop on my finger and pull that back through. And basically what I'm doing is knitting the stitch through the loop on my thumb and then grabbing the loop on my finger as the working yarn and pulling it through. And each time I do that, I then reposition my hands and make that boomerang V shape again and start over. Also notice that I used my right index finger to hold the stitches on the needles so that they don't slip off and that they give me tension here and make everything nice and tight. So again, I go into the thumb from the bottom up and then I go around the yarn on my index finger and pull it through and then I drop it off my thumb and tighten it up. What you'll notice is that sometimes your needles move and you can stop in between stitches and line the points up again if you want to. That might make it easier to do this. And sometimes I do that and sometimes I let them get a little bit crooked. But you're just going to be going in on the thumb and knit the yarn on your finger. So I will just do that a few more times. And you can see I was showing you slowly, but you can do this quite quickly after you learn how to do it. And when you're finished with the number of stitches that you need, and I've got about 10 or 12 here, and that will be enough, I'm going to take out one of the needles. It doesn't matter which one you take out, but what happens is you cast on over two needles and now you have nice loose cast on with big loops and the stitches can spread out and it's not tight at all. That's how you do the long tail cast on over two needles held together.